This is another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. Why go on, my people? Hope everybody doing okay. Hope everybody doing all right. Knowing what you need to do to improve your life takes wisdom. Pushing yourself to do it takes courage. Big up everybody who live for sit today. Happy, happy, happy Wednesday. Every day above drug is a blessing. Let me tell you something. It's awesome to be alive amongst the living and not sleeping amongst the dead. Me say it already and me go say it again. You understand, people? Pick up all of the ones and ones them. Watch on the tree, protect on the six at all costs. Holy pa people get pronounced. Holy pa, holy pa, holy pa people get slapped with. So you know, say the purge continue. At this rate, we soon have nobody to talk to you. Know. Me be honest with you know. Everybody look at them out for get slapped with. Come like, I couldn't see what I go on. I wouldn't know already. The government not really do nothing about it. But hold on a bit before me go to the news. Me have a little matter with more address. Remember, I come and I talk certain things. I don't tell the seminar. I take it back already, you know. So, I come yesterday. I'm going to see a whole paper paper on the inbox. And I say, my view. Take back the statement because it's not right. Hold on a bit. I don't say it. I made this set and I'm going to say it again. Remember, I come and I tell you, say, yes. I come and I tell you, say, yes. I agree with what the mother said. When she said, the girl, I'm not finna up on the road to beat up little girl. But me also, I couldn't know say I blame the mother too. I mean, I take back that. You understand? She was supposed to be a mother. Them said, I'm not finna up on the road. What she make a look at that tad up on the road? I'm done talk about that already, so I make her know what I go under the news now. A 24 year old taxi driver from Tank Road in Cambridge, St. James, has been arrested and charged with forcible abduction and rape following an incident in his community on Monday, December 13. He has been identified by the police as Shamar Winter. Hold on a minute. On the rail, you tell me, say the police, them just go pick up rape a boy, so I slap on the first lap, man. Slap on the first lap, them, and I tell the police, stop waste time with them, a boy, and make them go eat tax, be as money. We are not taking it no more. Report from the St. James Center of Investigation of Sexual Offenses and Child Abuse said the teen was walking along the roadway when Winter allegedly offered her a ride. Winter subsequently drove to a lonely area in the community where it is alleged that he raped the teen. A report was made to the police and an investigation lodged. The Constable Corporate Communication Unit said in a release. Three days later after the incident, Winter was arrested on Barnet Street in the parish after he was pointed out by the teen, the police said. He was later charged. But well, I'm not a bit there now, people. Me, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to go on. Them, I'm going to carry him to court and he's going to get bail. Yes, and I'm going to send him on next parish to run some tax. And he's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. Uh, once a rape, always a rape. Me tell you already, no give them no charge. Slap them way. Anyway, I can go down to Westmoreland. I can fuck you up off my bike and dead. Yes, people. That's what the people look at Westman and I say. An American woman's Christmas visit with her Jamaican relative was cut short when she died on a motor vehicle crash in the grill on Monday night. She has been identified as 46 year old Erica Weatherburn from Oregon. Yes, people. According to the police, Weatherburn was heading from Negril Town Center towards her hotel when she lost control of her motorcycle. She was driving and crashed into a section of the hotel wall. Yes, people. Right in the wall. Why is it that they made to be speeding? Why them need to be speeding? She received end injuries and facial injuries and was pronounced dead right on the spot. Yes, finally them are pronounced people on the spot. I mean, make them do that, you know. Give thanks the way, you understand? Inspector Greg Hall, head of Westmoreland Traffic Town Centre Enforcement Unit, is urging motorists to be extra careful during the holiday. In the season, there is always an uptick in the number of accidents. I am asking, yes, people, my ask road users to be cautious. But if you don't want to come to time, you can't speed. You understand? Me, I tell you, if you don't want to speed, and that's your life. Because I don't like that. Let me go you know some more news about now, the Gyadi. Where they never slap you, and they never slap you. See, Gyadi walk free, you know. A security guard who was shot and injured by the police has been freed of illegal possession of firearm and assault charge. Alvarenas age 31, who is of a Kingston address, was free following a no-case submission made by his attorney, 
Courtney Foster. Yes, people. Two policemen has testified in the gun court last week that on September 3rd, 2020, they saw a foreman on a motorcycle on Coburn Lane in Kingston. The driver of one of the motorcycles made a U-turn and sped off the court to a stall. Reynard, who was later identified to be the driver of the other motorcycle, went in the direction of the unmarked police car. The pillion rider of the motorcycle pulled a firearm, pointed in the direction of the police. The police driver in the unmarked vehicle fired several shots in the direction of the pillion rider. Let me tell you something. Everybody should have get stuck. The police the man is a shoot and miss. The motorist fell on the ground and the pillion rider escaped. Reynolds was shot and injured and taken to the hospital. The witness said no firearm was recovered from Reynolds. Let me tell you now. Witness all is at the things, but they never yet recorded it yet. You understand? Once police involved, they never yet record it in the paper. Me be honest, you don't know. The policeman said they identified Reynolds at the hospital. During cross-examination, Foster suggested to the witnesses they could not identify Reynolds because when they went to the hospital, he had surgery and was wearing an oxygen mask on the wall. Hold on a bit there. You know see why me always tell this the police if we stick to what them know best, slap with business, stop save them. Stop save them because who oh, don't really have much sense and can't write good statement so they're going to get off. In responding, they suggest they were able to identify him. Foster suggested that Reynolds was riding alone on the day when he was shot, but the witnesses said there was a pillion rider. Stick to the story. Who don't say there was a pillion rider? Police have one job and one job only. Slap where all criminal. Say it already, I'm going to say it again. Slap where all criminal. Top where soon a time pan the road with them. You understand? All of this could have been avoided, you know, if it be pronounced right fast, but see it now. If God around and I would him a laugh for fa. Only look at the bad police. Man shoot off and on them up on the road and walk scratch free. Who not see sound in no, no sense? Anyway, we can move on to Clarendon. A taxi operator from Southern across Clarendon is the latest victim of gun violence in the central parish. Oh, down this is so hot. The deceased has been identified as 36 year old German Patterson. Yes, people, them slap him right away. Who was shot and killed by unknown assailant in his community. Report from the Maypen police that at about 9 p.m. Patterson was outside his business establishment eating when armed men pounced upon him and demand his vehicle. After paperwork so hard for them things, only look a criminal boy feel like so no must come come just take it so and go about in the business. It's alleged that Patterson entered the vehicle and an attempt to drive away when he was shot in the head. Let me tell you something. If them come fit, give it to them. Give it to them people. Don't play here and get zero. Me be honest, I don't know. Me know it kind of hard. Blood, sweat and tears on the work for no things. But life matters most. Me be honest, I don't know. Life matters most. Keep that in mind. He was pronounced dead right past spot. Shot in night, man. Me know say a film vehicle still. And he must say, yo, me nah get up without a fight. But sometimes, you don't need to know when to let go. Make it go on. Man, come bounce to you with gun and say, yo, give me this and give me that. And not you have a pin for defend yourself. Make them go on with it. You understand? Brave man live for fight another day. Well, on a bit, you know, somebody else dead. Christmas will be less than merry for residents of Kingwood District in Westmoreland following the slaying of a common law couple. Yes, two of them dead. Right past spot. How me I go tell you what go on? You understand? No need to worry. Report on the couple was gone down in their car as they drove up to their home. Dead are 45 year old Anthony Calder and his 33 year old common law wife, Charlotte Reed. Yes, people, two of them dead. Report from the Westmoreland police at about 9 30. Drove up to their yard. Mr. Calder reported and exit the vehicle to open a chain gate to the yard. It is understood that while doing so, Mr. Calder was pounced upon by gunmen who opened fire, hitting him multiple times. You know some people are going to say, well, lad, I mix up and I'm them come for. But hold on a bit. Let me tell you this. Reed, who was still inside the vehicle, was also shot and killed. And two of them, them come for. No stone and turn. Two of them, them come for. I'm going to see what the people in the comment section are going to say. I don't know them, you know. I know exactly what I want for the NZ. Look, some things you can't see, say this was a hit. You understand? Either them do something or the people, them want them do something or them not do it. Make them take them out. But old land man, people soon come telling exactly what going on. But we can't tell you what going on in Westmoreland though. Westmoreland is amongst the police division in Jamaica, which has recorded the highest number of murder this year. The parish was placed under a state of public emergency several weeks ago, but the enhanced security measure was discontinued after two weeks, having failed to secure the support of the opposition. Come like the opposition are back, criminal. Say what I said, and I mean what I said. And me now take you back. Them are back, criminal them. 
hence the reason them not support the majors. But people, open here and look what going round, you know. Protect on the tree, watch on the six at all costs. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. We have one those to go, you know. Because we have someone like 18 year old get shot right down at St. James. So look at what we talk about that.